They need a uh, topic for their talk show. <clears throat> Underwater basket weaving. Underwater <laughs> basket weaving. Okay. So, Jennifer, hosting a show about underwater basket weaving, Jessica her guest. Brian will be providing both uh, signs for the hearing impaired. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to Ridiculous Hobbies. I am Morgan Broadside, and uh, we have a very special guest here. We'll get to her in just a minute. Now, unfortunately, our closed captioning machine is not working this morning. Uh, so we actually have a very special guest. He's going to be doing some American Sign Language for you. Please welcome, please welcome Dave. Dave is typically making coffee for us and, and running, the, running the sound, but today he's actually going to be doing a little bit of sign language. So uh, let's get started. Uh, this is this is a very special guest. This is Amy. Amy wrote a book called called Underwater Basket Weaving and You. Um, now you have, you have some very interesting topics to discuss in this book. Now I was actually interested in your opinion on chlorine in the basket weaving process. Can you explain a little bit about that? All right, actually, uh, do, not, do not believe in chlorine. I, I find it to be evil. Uh, my parents are proud Amish. <laughs> underwater basket weavers, and it's a very <laughs> tradition in my family, and uh, the chlorine, we, we feel, takes away from the purity of the actual weaving of baskets, so we prefer saline. Now, something that I have actually been wondering about, how do you keep the wicker from getting too soggy when you're underwater? Oh, uh, well, it's actually very simple. Uh, before we start to weave it, we put cheese. We put each individual uh, tine of wicker into a wetsuit. And we basically, when it's time, we just unzip it and pull it out. And then we just kind of put it in the That is fantastic. Yeah. There was actually an audio CD that accompanies your book. It's a great book. Uh, it, it's actually, it's just a recording of a tisk and a tasket like 400 times. Now, where did you get that idea? Uh, well, it was actually a cruel joke. Um, my younger sister just loves that, uh, that particular poem, and I was thinking about naming it My Wicker Myself, but uh, it, it, did, it didn't take. <laughs> so. The funny thing about baskets, there are actually several old-time old sayings that involve them. Now, uh, what is your opinion on the putting all of your eggs into one basket? Oh, oh, now see, you would never do that, unless you happen to be underwater, at which point they would actually stay in the basket. But if, if you were on the land, you see, and you were swinging that basket, well, somebody might uh, think it's homecoming and trip you, and oh, look, you egg the sidewalk. So, it's very unfortunate. If, if it was summer, you would actually fry that egg on the sidewalk at that point. Absolutely. Very dangerous scenario. Absolutely. Now, slip on it. Uh, if, we just, if we can just break it down for a minute, um, I want to talk about something that might be a little bit of a, of a sore subject for you. Um, I actually heard a rumor, I don't know if it's true or not, that basket weaving has been outlawed in Angora. Underwater basket weaving, anyway. Now, um, <laughs> technically, technically, that's incorrect. Um, you are allowed to weave baskets in Angora, but not if you're a woman. Oh, I see. Yes. I see. That makes complete sense. Yes. <laughs> so. <laughs> now, uh, baskets are used in several different, several different activities. Um, how do you feel about their use in basketball? Now, see, I find that to be a tragedy because they actually cut the entire bottom out of it. What is up with that? Yeah, it's no longer a basket. It's really. not a basket. It's, it's, a, it's a round shell. Yeah. Drums are made of round shells. That's just not right, in my opinion. Absolutely. Yes. yes. Well, it's been great talking to you. Yes. We're actually going to cut to commercial break. Uh, thank you, Amy, and we hope to have you back on the show sometime soon. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> 